welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing a good old fashioned speed clean because my house looks like a bomb has gone off inside it. It is so messy and desperately needs a clean. So if you like speed cleans where there is actual real like a lot of mess, you're in the right place. If you're new to my channel, subscribe for more videos like this and let's do this. So first things first, laundry. Every single day I will do some sort of laundry. That's the only way I can keep on top of it. There's always sheets or towels or clothes to be done. And I saw the funniest quote the other day. It said, I hate it when I get up to date with laundry and then I look around and my family are wearing clothes. And that is exactly how I feel. But once I've done the laundry, I'm gonna use this laundry bag to put anything that needs to go back upstairs that is downstairs. So sometimes toys or you know, pajamas or like blankets, things like that will creep downstairs. So I'm gonna stick them all in that and then take it back upstairs. That guitar also needs to go upstairs. So I'm just gonna tidy away the toys that the kids were playing with this morning, straighten out the couch, and then also straighten out Jackson's little kitchen. Matt jokes that I now have two kitchens that I have to clean, but I actually quite enjoy it. But I'm just gonna tidy up all of the toys and then give everything a wipe with the disinfectant spray as well. Boys and I recently went through their soft toys and decided which ones we could donate to charity. They just have so many toys that we decided something had to give. So we're gonna donate all of those today and now I'm gonna fold some laundry. Although we have a utility room, I always like to bring it out onto the dining table and fold it there for some reason. I actually do find this quite therapeutic and I kind of enjoy it. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna fold all of the laundry and then take it upstairs and put it into the right rooms. I might not always put it away straight away but if I've just got it into the right rooms, that's a good start. Then I'm gonna use a glass cleaner on our table. We had a piece of glass cut to go on top of our dining table and it's been a game changer. The kids do so much painting and coloring that it was ruining the table, but this has just been brilliant. So I'm gonna wipe that down and also the vase as well because it is a mirror like chrome effect so you get fingerprints and things like that. And now I'm just gonna tackle the kitchen and wipe all of that down. I'm also gonna wipe down our mirror splashbacks with a glass cleaner. I was really unsure about getting the mirror splashback, but I love having it. It makes the room look so much bigger. Now I'm also gonna wipe down the hot spots or the high touch areas, basically just all of the handles. And then I have this great Dettol spray. It kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria or germs and you can spray it onto clean surfaces. So the kids have had a few bugs lately, so I'm gonna use it today. I don't use it all the time, but I'm just gonna do all the handles that they've touched. I'm also gonna clean the sink. This is Barkeeper's Friend. It's very similar 
started to sif. So I'm gonna spray that all in the sink, give it a good scrub, and then also use some boiling hot water from the kettle and just let that sit for a little while. This is obviously a white sink and sometimes I feel like I can see a few stains, so I like to use this. I'm also gonna give the house a little hoover. This is our Dyson V8 and I love using it. It's just really handy. It does only have 20 minutes of battery life, but that is enough to do this room and then I'll put it on charge before I take it upstairs. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna run around and hoover. <laughs> recently discovered this product it is the method floor cleaner I have it in wild rhubarb and also a lemon and ginger one it smells amazing it's non-toxic and it sprays out really nicely you don't have to mix it with anything you can just spray it directly onto the floor and either mop it or like I am I'm actually spot cleaning the floor because it's not too bad today so I'm only cleaning under where the kids eat so I'm just gonna give that a good wipe with that product and then I'm gonna tackle my office do you remember my beautiful clean office well it's ruined I need to just tidy it up put everything away I guess because it's like a surface it becomes a bit of a dumping ground so people tend to just stick bags on it or you can see books lipstick things like that so I'm just gonna shove everything away and also clean that we had a piece of glass also cut for my desk so that it had like a nice slick surface on top I'm also gonna dust the frames that are on the shelves above my desk, like my 100,000 play button that has pride of place on my desk. And then that is that area a lot tidier, just don't look under the desk. And then I'm also gonna clean the couch, which is in the front room, just sort out the cushions a little bit before going upstairs, taking the laundry basket and stair basket, which is full of things to be returned. I'm just gonna sort through that. That could be anything from shampoo, photos, socks, toys by the looks of it, and always lots of clothes and books as well. And then I'm gonna put away the ironing board. I tend to iron in our bedroom. And then I'm gonna make our bed and go from room to room, making beds, putting away books, toys, and just giving everything a general tidy, as well as putting away any laundry that needs to be put away.
Chris's room, he has this hidden beanbag storage, so you can put all of the soft toys in the beanbag, flip it over, and it's all hidden. So I wanted to show you that. And then I'm gonna wipe down the windowsill and then tidy away his books and just clear up his side table. He has so many books, it's great, he loves to read. But today I'm gonna give it a bit of a clear out and then put some back onto his bookshelf. I'm also gonna tackle the two bathrooms that are upstairs. We have a little ensuite and also a small family bathroom. So I'm gonna empty the bins that are in the bathrooms and then give everything a bit of a once over. It's not too bad today. Um, so I'm just gonna remove all of the toothbrushes and shampoos and things. I'm using the Method Bathroom Cleaner. I'm gonna spray that everywhere and give the sink a good old wipe as well as the toilet. I'm gonna wipe like the lid and everything with the cloth that I've been using. And then I'm actually gonna just use a small bit of toilet roll to wipe the actual like seat and bowl. It's not too messy, but having four boys in my house means you need to clean this quite often. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go around and give the bathrooms a quick once over. <laughs> two hours now but now I have to go and do the school run I hope you enjoyed this video I must admit I've actually quite enjoyed cleaning it's quite a luxury to clean on your own to music when you're normally a busy mum like running around with the kids so it's been really nice to do this on my own how sad is that anyway thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye guys